the next uh, person to, to, to pay tribute to Godfrey would be um, Kwame from the University of West London. He's an academic. He worked with Godfrey over the years in the Ealing Racial Equality Council. You talked of, we've talked of Godfrey's dedication to his work. So as Hersev said, it wasn't nine to five. It was a whole day. It was a whole week. No weekends uh, for, for, for free time. And we, we sometimes got so annoyed. We, we, didn't, we didn't refer to Ealing Racial Equality Council as Iraq. We called it ear ache. <laughs> because it was really such a source of grief to us because we could not tear Godfrey from the work that he was doing. And because he obviously believed that if something had to be done, it had better be done rightly rather than done wrongly. If you don't like it, leave it. But while you're there, you must do, do, do it properly. He was a great believer in workers being good at their jobs. If you were a car builder in a factory, you must be good at it. There's no point being lousy and producing lousy cars. And if you are working for the race relations industry, you might as well do your best that you can within the circumstances. It's a great pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Chair. Um, Africans have a tendency when significant people pass of facing a risk of being the outsider who wept more than the bereaved. When Godfrey, the news of Godfrey's passing came through, I must confess I fought very hard to resist that temptation. If Shakespeare had had the good fortune to encounter Godfrey, <coughs> he would have written, the good that men do lives after them. The evil is not interred with their bones, so let it be with Godfrey Kramer. Godfrey, as everyone acknowledges, was a very special person. He was a significant figure in the anti-discrimination movement because he believed passionately that anti-discrimination is the first principle of equality. And he believed passionately in the equal worth and dignity of all human beings and he dedicated his life to it. To that. And for a great thinker, an intellect, and a man who pursued the cause of achieving ideological philosophical clarity, he managed to find expression for these lofty ideas in practical help to real people. And the number of times within the Racial Equality Council uh, working in cooperation with the local advice centre, uh, with the university, the community advice program. Godfrey sometimes took his work so seriously, the advice did not end there. He followed people to their homes and gave them practical help. I'm reminded in our sadness of the words of one of Stevie Wonder's lyrics. We find joy in our tears because Godfrey and the shining example he set by connecting people on this basic principle of equality and equal worth and dignity of all human beings and the struggle to achieve this common purpose, Godfrey managed to connect to all people, however diverse they were. And it is this recognition, this memory, that forever lives with us. So we pay tribute to Godfrey, and we, within the Equality Council, will work with comrades and with Iris and the family to ensure that we play our role in sustaining the good work that Godfrey did. Thank you.